Hello YouTube! Today I'm going to have a look at the Startone MK300, which is a very cheap keyboard. Um, is it any good? Let's find out. This instrument has 61 keys of 5 octaves. The keys are velocity sensitive, which means you can play hard or soft, and the volume or sound will change accordingly. On the front there are two speakers, which are loud enough for a performance in the living room or classroom. They sound nice enough, with great clarity but little bass. There are several keys for selecting sounds or changing the setup, and also a nice bright LCD display, which not only spells out the sound you're using, but also shows the notes you're playing for your left and right hand. On the back, there are plugs for a headphone, a sustain pedal, the power brick, and there's also a USB port, so you can connect this to a computer as a MIDI controller or playback device. You can also run this keyboard on batteries, there's a compartment for that on the bottom of the instrument. This keyboard can play up to 64 notes at once, which is more than enough for most music. There are 390 sounds to choose from, which are all accessible by a set of numeric keys. For easier lookup, the sound names and numbers are also printed under the keyboard's case. The sounds can't be edited or changed, but you can add reverb or chorus to your performance, and both of these effects don't sound too bad. Also, you can set up splits, which means you can play one sound with your left hand and another one with your right hand. This instrument can record and play back your performance, which you then can accompany with another patch. For example, you can record a bass line first, switch to a piano sound, and then play some chords over the bass line. Unfortunately, those recordings can't be stored. When you buy this keyboard, it comes bundled with a headphone and a keyboard stand. The keyboard stand is very solid, and the headphone is nothing special. You'll have to buy a sustain pedal separately, and I've added some links in the description of this video. Okay, but enough of the features, let's listen how this thing actually sounds.
before I conclude, I have to add some things about the build quality of this keyboard, which is less than optimal. The best description for the keyboard's casing is flimsy, and sometimes the keys make these weird clicking sounds. And um, if you play very piano, sometimes your notes won't register. So, is this keyboard any good? Well, the answer depends on what you're looking for. Um, I think this keyboard is targeted at uh, people who want to learn to play the piano and um, don't want to invest a whole lot of money because they're not sure if their decision is right. Um, the keyboard piano sound is quite good. It's very velocity sensitive and you can play with a lot of expression, so that's good. But the other sounds are not that good. They are not bad either, but they are middle of the road. So don't expect to use this in a professional context. Um, if you want to do that, better uh, look for something more expensive. But if you're the guy who wants to play a little bit piano in front of his friends um, and uh, you don't mind the cheap build quality, go for it. This is a great value for your money. It's got a lot of features and um, you won't find anything better in this price range. So that's about my review. If you liked it, uh, why don't you give me a thumbs up or even subscribe? But, well, there's no pressure. Uh, thanks for watching and see you next time. Bye bye.